What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Swiss and Bird. And we are jumping back into that Breaking Bad. Last episode we ended off with that boy Hank got Gus's fingerprints. So we're about to see what that leads to. My guy is headstrong on his case and every episode he's finding something out and getting closer and closer to I'm not gonna say Heisenberg, but to getting a big clue on what's going on behind the scenes with Gus and his operation. So can't wait to see how Hank shows up this episode and, and what he finds out and see how Walt behaves because he's been acting a little bit more on edge. And we also had Skylar. Looks like she's a little bit in over her head doing this. <laughs> money laundering uh basically finding out how much he makes every other week now she's kind of like all right now she really has to be on her a games make sure you guys head over to the patreon check the patreon out tons of content over there if you're getting it here on youtube just know patreon got it first if you want to jump a couple weeks ahead in content get some exclusives and uncut reactions make sure you click that link to the patreon and you head over there and you sub up without further ado let's jump back into that breaking bad let's get it i fear for my family I am told the assassin that survived is gravely injured. It's doubtful he'll live. Now, thank me and shake my hand. Long way since this room. This shit just happened. 843. Time of death. 2043. Vernon Howe, you piece of shit. Gunman died at the scene. The second succumbed to his wounds earlier this evening at an area hospital. Gus? Oh, shoot. Your nephews grew impatient. They continued to press me for my permission to kill Walter White. When I wouldn't give it, they settled instead for DEA agent Schrader. Marco was shot in the face and died instantly. Lionel lingered for several hours. The warning call to the DEA agent, Juan Bolsa, may have some insight into who placed it. A mistake made by his own men. But we may never know. He know he did some foul shit. This is what comes of blood for blood, Hector. Sangre por sangre. Damn, my man can't do nothing. That boy... That boy Gus really be pulling them strings, man. I just literally edited the episode for YouTube, and it was the episode of... When we saw the twins when he uh, drowned him, he said not to trust an American. Like that light is too bright. In one minute, I'm starting a new business. My wife and I are thinking about having kids. Walk into a doctor's office and suddenly, I mean, I mean life as I know it will it's, never. Excuse me. So, so for me, that's been the biggest wake up call. Letting go, giving up control. That is. I know he's gonna say that. Such bullshit. Never give up control. Live life on your own terms. I've been living with cancer for the better part of a year. Right from the start, it's a death sentence. That's what they keep telling me. Every life comes with a death sentence. I'm gonna hear some bad news. But until then, who's in charge? Me. That's facts, though. He don't Stick even know who he's talking to. We'll say that shit and then go there like, I'm oh, happy today, young yeah, man. He don't even know what I do. Pollos hermanos or something delicious is always cooking. Yes, detective. That boy shook. It's a big gulpy tilt right there. You stupid. That nigga cool. Victor, I mean, I always want to step ahead. Ain't she can kind of pin it on him a little bit. Yeah, you like, y'all gotta get rid of him. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. How's Kathy? And you know, Hank Schrader. <laughs> yes, indeed. And Steve Gomez. The DEA is working on an, an investigation. That boy, nervous, sir. Your fingerprints were found at a crime scene. Really. Gail Bedecker's apartment. So you knew the victim. I'm sorry, it's that shit causing him. 15 years ago, I established a chemistry scholarship at UNM. Gail was a recipient of this scholarship. He was uh, perhaps one of three dozen. And you kept in regular contact with him over all this time? Oh, no, I hadn't seen Gail for years uh, until I ran into him a few weeks ago. We caught up briefly, and he invited me to dinner the following night, and I accepted. Perhaps a week later, I read about him in the paper. Drug-related, you said? It's a good possibility. 
Yo, he's the Hank ass. Hank's studying him right now. So after years of no contact, he shows up in your restaurant, remakes your acquaintance, and invites you to dinner? Yeah, he wanted money. He was a very, very talented chemist. But for reasons I never understood, he was more interested in taking shortcuts. Declined his business offer. And after what was a very pleasant meal, left. So I asked him what you ate. Yeah. Ah, I was at a fundraiser at Presbyterian Hospital. I was there from 7 to about 10. Uh, sorry, yeah, just, uh, just one other thing. Um, what did you eat? Is Gustavo Fring your real name? Is it my real name? I, I, I know you're a, uh, a Chilean national, but there are no records of you ever living there. A couple years later, you were granted an entry visa to the United States, but there's no record of Gustavo Fring ever having existed in Chile, which I find, I don't know, I, strange. General Pinochet's government was guilty of a great many sins. First and foremost were its human rights abuses but it was also notoriously unreliable at keeping records. I'm sure if you keep digging, you'll find me. Damn, we got the one up on him. That Chile John hurting. Yeah. Damn, are you staring at me like that? This thing with his name, what are you thinking there? And before 86, this guy's a ghost. Yeah, he emigrated from Mexico in 89. You know, state just wasn't as tough on background checks pre-9-11. For me, the scholarship thing explains it. Well, I'll admit to a certain degree of bias. This man has been a long-time friend of DEA. I thought his story was credible. Didn't call you or share his connection with the case or ask about the investigation? We can't predicate a criminal investigation on a person yeah, not... Yeah, yeah, that I don't, like... I see right. what Hank's trying to do, but he's just reaching. Yeah, that's low-key reaching. Especially when you, if you really didn't know what went on, what would you call him for? Now, nah, Gus about to make that move on. Hey! Nice touch. Bird bath. <laughs> Very nice. What's the damage? 1200 a month. I did a lot of research, and for this neighborhood, that's a pretty good deal. That's for the week. Plus, there's a little extra in there for any move-related incidentals. How's the new school? I loved school when I was your age. Story time, chasing girls with sticks. <laughs> well, why is Saul with, with her, though? Jesse probably sent him to make sure she was cool. Carpe diem, okay? Okay. All right, good boy. We ain't got no front to huh? that. So, um, you'll thank Jesse again from both of us. You got it. I think he's doing that on his own. That's what I'm saying. Because Jesse don't be, well, I don't know if he still talked to him. He's good. He's, uh, he's busy. Oh boy, not good. Oh, he did, he went on. Yeah. Go see him, Jesse. How is it? There's space, lots of light. It's a little garden out back, it's nice. And Brock, how's he doing? That's the good heart in that boy. And Jesse, yeah, that boy he could have gave. He could have gave her that, what, 10,000 he gave her and then said, fuck it. You really want to know how they're doing, why don't you go see for yourself? That's a big stat. I'll catch you later. Hey, you gonna need a ride home? No. Nope. You wanna go? No. That boy got the head like the uh the pickle shit off of SpongeBob. Who did see that money got her act together? You see how she did. See that money got her act right. That's smart as fuck, though. The crib burned down. Y'all cooked, though. <laughs> that shit that heavy. That's that big bread. Can't hide it there. <laughs> anyway, I'm proud for not Under the crib is smart as fuck. That I will support them if a customer is being really... If somebody see that, they're like, why you got clothes underneath the crib? Oh, what you mean? What the fuck under my crib in the first place? You never know why. Hey, Dad, um, whatever happened with your scan, did, did you get the results back? I did. And I'm still in remission. You're all gonna have to be stuck with me for a while longer. Cheers, buddy. It's so awkward. Smell attention. Um, Reese, I'm working tomorrow, and there's this uh, gem and mineral shell that's opening at the fairgrounds. I was wondering if you could maybe give me a lift? Yeah. Sure. He watching that boy. Entry.
Nah, I think he might ask Walt something because he helped him before. Yeah. But this is the only time he can ask him. Mm -hmm. They're not going to no mineral shit. Hey, Walt, there's no rock show, okay? I just said that so Marie wouldn't freak. Take it right here. Like, yo, what you getting me into, G? No cap, bro. Like you just coerced me. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's going on? Hank, where are we going? To that laundry mat. You hungry? We're not here for the chicken. Kill the engine. Hey, bro, you bringing me into police shit. Stake out. Gustavo Frank. Wait, what about him? Well, I suspect. I can't prove it, mind you, but I suspect. The man's a drug dealer. Yeah. Methamphetamine. That uh, that this guy is maybe one of the biggest movers in the Southwest. Remember Gail Bedecker? You said that he didn't strike he was being the boss man type that... What fucked it up? Yeah. I'm ass, bro. Chicken man's fingerprints at Bedecker's murder scene. So we bring him in. You think that, that Gustavo Fring killed Gail Bedecker? You brought him into the police. Right. And he proceeds to kick our asses. So he's not guilty? Yeah, well, as far as DEA and APD are concerned, he's not. Officially, Fring's not a suspect. Some deep down says he's my guy. Just gotta prove it. But like, if he get help him, if he help him, if he help Hank, he can become the... Like, like he wanted to get rid of Gus anyway. What I need for you to do... Just tag it. Stick this on it. You fucking crazy. GPS tracker. Stick this on the car. This right here. Right here. Or what can, needs to say is like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. But that's illegal. Isn't that illegal? I mean, isn't there some sort of unlawful search? And... My... It's easy. Okay? Here's what you do. As you're walking past the car, you look down. Oh, I can't do this. My shoes untied. He could do it and tell Mike that he did it. Yeah. Because he had, like, no choice. Thank no, I, I, I don't I don't feel good about this at all. Look, Walt, I I I'm really this scared though. Yeah. Outside your comfort zone. No, I mean this is a mistake. I mean this is really important to me. Jesus, just you make me beg you? Come on, just stick it in there. Pause that. Well he can do it with Mike watching. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, but he don't even really gotta tell him, but I like that bitch a vape. Drop your vape on the floor. Oh shit, bangy. Ah, I'm smooth as shit to get. They ain't got vapes back then, I know. I'm just saying though. Look at the next to his car though. He could just tell her to tell, look. Sir, may I help you? I didn't do it. See, I didn't do it. Do it. Do it. May I help you with your order? That quick. But him telling him, and then now him doing it, he could fuck around and go different places that he don't really go, you feel me? What the hell is Just uh, made sure it was secure. Hey, where's my soda? <laughs> this yours right here, Playboy. Oh, we got his air fix. Oh my gosh. That boy walk with a car. Nah, Hank is too much on his ass. Look, I thought I was driving the man to a gem and mineral show. You and I, we, we've had our differences, but I would never. My brother-in-law, evidence-wise, has nothing. But if something were to happen to Hank, then that would only draw their attention to you and therefore to me as well. I will make sure that he discovers Nothing. Jesse! What? Are we alone? Where do we stand with the thing, the thing that you were supposed to do? Didn't lose it, did you? You would tell me if you lost it, right? Some kind of... You have got to make this meeting happen this week. Tomorrow. Tonight, if possible. What are you, high? My brother-in-law. My DEA agent brother-in-law. He's on to Gus. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it, your brother-in-law, okay? I'm thinking. How is fucking Jesse the rational one, right? Though? Add a plus douchebag to a minus douchebag, and you get, like, zero douchebags. You're such an asshole. Hank is... He's relentless. 
All right? That's won't your quit. fucking fault. Yeah, well, he's got nothing, is all I can say. So you, you, you haven't even seen him since that time at the diner? Okay. But, man, what, would a pass out? Hank already knows who you are, by the way. And besides, you actually did kill Gail, so there's that. Russ don't even smoke cigarettes. That's not the same. Why don't you offer him a cigarette he don't smoke? Shut my mouth if I get busted. He ain't gonna set up no meeting. Well, then insist on it, damn it! Gus's ass is on the line. And trust me, he will meet with you if he thinks that you're a liability. No, he will waste me if he thinks I'm a liability. We're talking about that control at that meeting. He ain't got no, no control. control. That's why he panicking like that. Just like how Bull was panicking. He gonna Ain't get where, bro. He started to get on my nerves. He gonna get what's gonna call it hurt, Jesse. I, I think you. Uh, I got a phone call. He gonna see if he lying. Anything important? Well, that's not like important for him to tell him. English or Spanish? Neither the DEA nor the APD considers you a person of interest. Schrader's looking into you totally on his lonesome. Just him, his credit card, and his chauffeur, Walter. From what I hear, he'd be committing career suicide if he were to mention you to Merkert again. We watch our backs, make sure we don't throw him any bones. He'll never make a case. Seems to me the bigger problem's the cartel. And we can handle them if that's all we've got on our plate. We got too much going on. Both Schrader and the Mexicans at the same time. It's gonna be a problem. Man. If he happens to be watching when they make a move, it could be the perfect storm. Oh boy, Mike Loyal. Bro, he the he the one holding it together. Better shit in the water. Put that joint there. But Walt fucked up. If he knows. Gus knew what the shit was. Walt went into the shop before. Yeah. So it's gonna be like, Walt, oh, tell this man something. That's his only tie to the cartel. cartel that's still... The cartel has given me its ultimatum, to which I've said no. DEA agent Schreyer, uh, he's a concern. He's looking into my past. A small one right away. Yeah, like, what was he doing before 89? That boy was the head honcho. Is today the day, Hector? Yes, young head. Confiant in me, mo. Todo va a salir bien. That's the boy he just met with last time, right? This is back when my man was a young man. The boy got that limp. Yo. The boys got that money. They do whatever they want. Somebody jumping that pool, man. Ellos no van a decir nada. Les gusta lo que ven. Hey, yo, pause that. That's the... Juan. Uh, yeah, that's before he was the boss. Yeah, his hand messed Así up. Que his los right pollos hermanos. Me gusta su restaurante. Por fin! Los grandes chefs! Oh, shit. That might be the person that died too young. They might kill him right here. Yeah. Es un gran honor. Max es el chef. Todos estos halagos son para él. Eh, Gustavo demasiado modesto. Bueno, es una receta que aprendí en Chile, pero la modifiqué un poco para el gusto mexicano. What if he took his story? I think he might have took his name and then said that when he died, he gave him his name. Like, did a flip-flop. Si tu socio es el chef, ¿quién eres tú? Uh, yo me encargo uh, uh, de las operaciones del negocio. Hey, Gustavo es un hombre de negocio brillante. <laughs> qué bien, qué bien. Put that makeup on that boy. Además de eso, ¿qué tienen en el menú? Eh, bueno, tenemos varios acompañamientos de arroz, frijoles. You're not talking about food. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque cuando yo mando a mis hombres a su restaurante, ellos regresan no solamente con el pollo, oh, wow. sino regresan en drogados. Ustedes están vendiendo narcóticos. Con puro respeto, don Emilio. Yo no soy ni les di muestras para presentarle el producto. Don Eladio, Gustavo no lo quiso ofender. Queremos trabajar con usted, Don Eladio. Juegan con eso. Y ahí no hay plata. Es mucho más potente. Don Eladio, este producto 
es la droga del futuro. Ah, triplicaría sus ganancias. No solo son buenos cocineros, son buenos para hablar pendejadas. <risa> Cristalizada, es más adictiva, más potente que la cocaína, lo cual significa que se moverá en grandes cantidades. Y usted se queda con todas las ganancias. A mis hombres sí les gusta su producto, es verdad. ¿Cómo no le ofreces a los invitados las copas? Ándale, pues. ¿Qué did Hector kill him? I think he did. No, no es cierto. Pero... You gotta put something in that drink. Yeah. Don Eladio, si sí, Gustavo, él pagó por la casa. Ah, sí. Por la mínima inversión de capital, podemos montar un laboratorio para usted y entrenar a su gente para producir metanfetamina de alta calidad. Si tú eres el cocinero, ¿para qué lo necesito él? Sí, tengo voz. Wow. ¿Por qué tengo que hacer negocio con un hombre que me falta respeto, tratando de negocios bajo mis narices, sin pedirme permiso a mí para hacer esta reunión en frente de mis hombres? Yo simplemente tomé la iniciativa. Don Eladio Gustavo no lo quiso ofender. Yo conozco a Gustavo como si fuera un hermano. Para mí, este hombre es la persona más, más leal, más honorable que yo he conocido. That's what happens when you meet with people like this, where your life is in their hands every second. Yo lo necesito. Él es mi compañero. Por favor, se lo... Oh. Oh. Why are you shooting? Hector was like that. Míralo. Tú le hiciste eso. Ahora por la cual tú estás vivo y él no, es porque yo sé quién eres tú. Ya no estás en Chile. What did he do in Chile? Or who's his family? Huh? His family gotta be like some big, like, drug dealers. Quédate con los pollos. Huh? Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> They still didn't he killed his a... cook, and ever since then he been looking for one. And that's why he like only takes. That's why people. he vouched for Walt so much. Like, bro, I need him. He remind me of my man. Nah, I see why he wanted to. Uh, he didn't really give a fuck about two close enough. Look at me. Not in like now nah, he can't do anything. Like now nah, your life is in my hands. Maybe next time. Ooh, I think he might be wanting Gus to kill him so he don't got to live like that. But he just letting him go on yeah. as like a punishment for what he did to him. We got to figure out what my man did in Chile, though. They keep talking about that. Like that man family, or he was the... It's his family. He probably was that ma the next man up. And then he came to the U.S., whatever, whatever money he had, or Mexico. He was in Mexico. And person. he... Put that into the chicken, got his bread up, and then he started fucking with it. Yeah, you know saying no, that was a great episode, man. I was happy to get some backstory on Gus because we don't really know too much about that man. I don't know after, this, about him. after this episode, we got a little glimpse into his backstory. That boy was, but well, we seen his partner Max, who he actually started the business off with. So he really wasn't lying about somebody he knew dying. Um, a long time ago that was that was uh, super young you know shouldn't have died when they did but I think once they find his last name it's gonna show that he's tied to like a big drug family or something so I think that's why like they don't have any records of him before then it's because if they did they would they would automatically like push for more information from him because they knew he's been tied to the drug game but it definitely has me intrigued right now Walt's kind of on the edge he doesn't really know what to do I don't know if he's gonna make a rash decision and like try and I'm not saying that he's he might try and kill Gus but at least try to get a meeting where he can actually sit down in front of him like sit down in front of him and figure something out because Hank is on their ass Walt should never gave him that tip that's all Hank needed now he's back in his He's back in that mode where he can just go 
and just, you know, be a detective and not worry about anything else and be super focused on Laser Dan. He's a, he's a little on edge also because he doesn't really know how much Hank knows. Well, as long as he's been doing business in the US, he's never had like a problem like this to where he had to sit down with the DEA, especially since he has them in his back pocket sort of, with just being a part of the fundraising and just being connected with them. I don't know if he's gonna try and make a move to get rid of Hank, but we'll definitely see. That boy Mike is ready for anything, but we also know that the cartel is on him, so he might get some of that next episode, but I'm really enjoying Breaking Bad right now. One thing that, uh did say that they they didn't have records of him before mexico you said they didn't have uh any records since um chile but they didn't have no records of him in chile um so i, I want to figure out what's going on with that whole situation interview or i don't want to call it interrogation that they did but that sit down that he had with the dea once he brought up his actual name that is what like shocked him the most or you could tell like hit him the most or had the most impact on him during that conversation he was able to kind of finesse his way through everything but that was like the only loophole i would say was in i'm gonna say game that he has um with the dea hopefully that boy hank don't push too many buttons because like jesse said when he was talking to walt like if he really wanted to he can kill hank at any moment you feel me like hank got his gun and stuff back i believe but at the same time he's not healthy so it's like he can't outrun nobody he can't even drive you feel me so if they send anybody on that boy hang it's like it's nothing he can do you feel me so um, the only thing that to do with it with the business that they have going on now is that that would just fuck over walt's kind of connection or bond that he has with us because like what was he said that they have a mutual interest in like no violence so like once they cross i feel like once he crossed that line like Walt really gonna try to push for him to like get killed in some scenario or he might even turn that boy into the DEA. Skylar, she seems a lot more involved with what Walt's got going on now. They seem like they're on good terms for at least right now. So that's good to see because like, you know what I mean? Their, their house life has been normal. When they met with the boss, he was saying, why does he need Gus? You feel me? Because he's the cook, he's doing everything. And that's kind of the same mindset that Walt is in right now. It's like, I'm the cook. I'm the one that's bringing in the product. So like, if Gus does, if something does happen to Gus, the business keeps running. And she even said that John in the outro a, a couple uh, episodes ago. This would keep going on. This would be a revolving loop until they get rid of Walt. Or we're inching closer to season five. So I know they setting this John up to be, if they, if y'all saying this how it is, we excited to see how this John play out, man. But if you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below, let us know your thoughts on it. Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon so you can notify when we drop these videos. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and support you have been showing on not only just this series, but also on every video that we've posted on our channel, man. It means a lot to us. It goes a long way. I mean, y'all keep us motivated to keep going, but until the next video. The kids react.